Hey, hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, so, let me just address this. I, uh... I had to double check the VOD, because I, I was certain I missed a couple deaths yesterday, and I did. So, the count is at 69. At the end of yesterday's stream, it was 66. However, it is, is it, it is indeed 69. So, whatever the last death was yesterday, that was 69. And, uh, yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> what caused 69? Uh, I feel like it might have been a skeleton or electricity from a case, most likely. If I was to take a guess. Uh, but hey, welcome. Um, phone definitely buzzed hard. What do you mean, buzzed hard? A perceived buzzing that was harder than usual, or just for some reason? Phone go brrrr. Uh, you're also trying master mode confirming. Good luck. Hey, you know what I hear is a great thing to do is just be completely naked and just not spend anything right away. It, it, I hear it's a lot of fun. Okay. Well. Uh, I guess I could go to Hatino. I have two choices. I can go to Hatino and then get the photography thing or I can start roaming this area. I think I might just go to Hatino. Where is the horse? The horse is somewhere over there. Later tonight, they're gonna show... Uh, the final gameplay trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, so I'll probably... Watch it. It's gonna be... It's only three minutes long. Um, and it's roughly in five hours, give or take. Oh, come on. Really? Alright, turn the horse around. Is it, it is a, it is not a direct, but they're live streaming it, so... It's just three minutes long. And... Unless I'm misinterpreting it, that's the last... That's the last thing that, uh, they're gonna show, pretty much. I'm not allowed to ever die again. That's... you know that's not gonna happen, right? I think the better thing is I should I need to die at least another six thousand nine hundred times. Ignore that, it's fine. <laughs> you have to do a basic transfer in four hours, so you'll miss the trailer. Okay, I mean, you can watch it afterwards, but just because the thing is, they still haven't really shown us what we're going to do in that game. They've shown the mechanics, some of the new stuff, right? But it's still kind of unknown what's what's going to be the thing, you know? Doggo. It's only three minutes, so who knows what they're going to show. It might very well be just the same stuff we already know reiterated, but... I figured it, it's worth a look, since I'm, I am playing Breath of the Wild now, so it's relevant. Anyway, I forgot to say how I was. Uh, doing, doing good. Just 
Another work day, pretty busy. But, uh, yeah, just kind of kicked back for dinner. Been watching more One Piece. Slowly getting through it. I mean, I'm just not going to start doing the proper skimming through area correctly. Chopper is the best character in One Piece and no one can tell you otherwise. Well, that's because you find Chopper adorable, but I think I like, I personally like, uh, the characters that I like, uh, not that Chopper isn't great, but, you know, I find just, Zoro has a comedic purpose, you know, when he gets lost or, uh, just ends up in a dumb situation. Love it. And Sanji, I like Sanji. Not when he's being the hopeless lover boy, but... Outside of that, I do like him. And, uh... I like Robin as well, as a character. But most recently, I just got up to the part where, uh, Frankie got... became part of the crew, and... Yeah, Frankie's cool. I like Frankie. That didn't work. It's gone now, right? There's no other rock, right? Oh, there's a chest here. Hey, Laura. Thanks for the, uh, seven months. How's it going? Yes, I know you're here, Korok, but unfortunately I don't have anything I can throw. There's only one here. It's, it's kind it's a bit unforgiving, unless there's one up above, but... Okay. That's fine. I think if I walk away far enough, it'll hopefully... It'll hopefully put the rock back. Hey, no, thanks for the raid. Long time no see. Yeah, I know, right? Wasn't here yet, right? Because <laughs> I, I hadn't started. Oh, no, there's rocks here. Okay. Cool. However, there's an archer here. Let's just do this. Okay. Oh no, they're bomb arrows. Oof, okay. I need to deal with this, otherwise I'm gonna die. No. Fire. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. How? 
Wow, that that's impressive. I've never seen that before. They usually fall in. You're hungry? Get some food then. I mean, even if it is super late for you. I, I, it is moving away from me, so I, I guess I'm safe, but that's a first. Uh, okay. Hold on. You only eat after stream. Yeah, it's after stream now. Go eat. <laughs> You've only been like five to seven hours. Okay, gotcha. Ah! Oh. oh wait, damn it! <sighs> I jumped down because I thought I, I messed it up, but I think I I almost had it. I need to put another one here. I'm gonna do my best not to die too much today. I need to average out the deaths. Almost 50 deaths in one stream. It's no good. Come on. In. Yeah. Is that that thing is still okay. Hang on, I made a, I made a wrong turn anyway. This goes to the village. I don't want to go to the village. I need to head to Hatino. So you know, if I. Don't update the death counter, let me know as well, because I did miss a couple yesterday. I had a feeling I did. So I... After work, I quickly scrubbed through the videos and just made sure that I updated the count every time. So I missed a couple. At the end of the day, it's, it's a manual process, no matter what. This looks familiar. Hang on. No, you know what? Just... It's time for that later. Get the camera, progress the main quest enough, and then I can worry about how I start approaching everything. I think the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to pick a region. I'll get its tower and then I'll go around the whole area just doing whatever shrines I can find and then uh, Koroks and then move on to the next region. Nice amount of deaths, yeah. That's what it was yesterday. Technically, I just missed three, so. It's not that new deaths have happened, it's just that's what the count was yesterday. I just missed a few. Apparently I'm not allowed to die now, but you know that's not gonna happen. I can try to make it a thing for the rest of the stream that I don't die, but 
not dying forever? Nah. Okay, where are they? I think this is the, one of these ones where you have to watch. There. Okay. I don't like these ones. Okay, that's one. I don't know if this can reach. I can. I want to get to the point where I have more Koroks than Deaths, so nearly there. Where is this one? Oh, I think I know where it is. I think it's on top of that thing there. Oh, no, wait, it's here. Six Sorry. <laughs> 65. Hey, you know what? You're playing Master Mode, confirm me. Why don't you keep track of the deaths you have? How many times do you think you've died? Or how about this? Even if you're not keeping track, did you die within the first hour? At least I'm proud to say that I didn't die. It took... I think it was two hours in. That time, you have about ten minutes. That was spent running around the Temple of Time getting chased. <laughs> well... I mean, I, I said it, the best advice I can give for this is just pick your battles, don't fight anything. And for weapons, just find out where Hinox, where the Hinox are, and just uh, mark them on the map, because they are your source of weaponry. Saw a line on Great Plateau. That is one of the changes, yeah. That They put that there on purpose just to show you immediately, no, this is not something that uh, is for the faint of heart. Pretty sure that was my first death was to that Lionel, maybe. I can't remember what my first death was, to be honest. It, that Lionel definitely shot me from a distance. Oh, come on. Link! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, leave it. First was probably to the cold weather. Right. I don't have to worry about cold weather now. I've got a, uh... I finally got a fire weapon yesterday. Just 
Leave me alone. They don't give up. The, they're angry. <laughs> oh, what? Jeez. They're still following me. Help, friend. <laughs> They're afraid of peace. <laughs> no, come on, together. Together we are strong. Help. Okay. I'm going to have to fight. It's the little details in this game. There. Assert dominance. Hey. My name is Garil. Come to see Fort Hatino, I take it. That's alright. Figured as much. It's well worth seeing. Fort Hatino was the last line of defense between Hatino Village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in a life, right? Wait, you were mad that the ice weapon didn't help on Death Mountain. As in what, temperature-wise? I think cause it's just too hot. It, it helps in the desert, it's just... There, I don't think it didn't... Because it, it's kind of the same as, uh... The desert and the, uh, the outfit you have to wear to get into the Gerudo area. It's, it's a hard restriction. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze. It's a nighttime thing. Ha, huh, let me guess. You caught wind of the great Dr. Caleb's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him for yourself, huh? No, don't tell me you've never he even heard of me. After I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines? Ugh. Well, you'd better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Caleb, if you please. I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Caleb. For e everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient texts. I haven't time for idle chit-chat. I'll leave you to it. Listen. I appreciate the effort that you went to studying academia. It's, it's, it's impressive, I'm sure. But you're a bit of a wanker if you insist people call you a doctor. Just a little bit. I'll be able to make more stamina food with this. Alright, I'm content. I just wanted to make sure I... I got as much food resources as I could get while I was here. I believe the, the honey, from what I... Some of the recipes I looked up, it's... Crucial for making food that, uh, gives you temp health, so. Nice to get three. You know what? Should probably mark it that that's a good spot for ingredients. There we go.
Wait. This is the way to the... The shrine. I think it's just shoot an arrow at its eyes once. Like at night time it reveals the correct path. Which it is night... Oh, there it is. Yeah, cool. It's already there. Camera, please! I don't mind fighting these things because... They are, uh, pretty weak. I, did, I wasn't gonna die there. I picked my battle. Okay, where's the Korok? Oh, it's over here. Sixty-six. Camurog. Camurog. Camerog. Is this one where I'm already worthy, or do I have to do more? Wait, what's this one? To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Cam Urog. Trial of Passage. Okay, this is probably important. Probably important. I think I should maybe heal up. Love the screenshot function. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it. There are certain things where I still took notes, despite the, that there's a screenshot function. And then... I was like, oh wait, yeah, there's a screenshot function. <laughs> okay, hold up. Oh, no. That stop. Too early, too early, too early. Hello, Messiah. How are you? Hang on, this is the one. Okay. That. Okay, unfreeze. Uh-oh. 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 This was a mistake. Watch out, here I come. <laughs> you know the, the song. Shit. There are two shrines that either require you to write it down or screenshot. 
Yeah, there's one where it's a constellation and you have to, uh... You have to know- you have to answer how many of each constellation there are. Oh, no! Oh, that hurts. That hurts more than I thought it would. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, that- that- Don't- just don't do that. That's- That's not- not a good thing. Oh my god. <laughs> what? That was- that was close. Jeez. Shit! <laughs> huh? What? 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 Huh? What? <laughs> what do you mean? I know, I would have definitely, um... I would have definitely had an out-of-body experience if, if that had killed me. Okay, that's fine. Let it go. Okay. Now. So this feels like a stage out of Mario 64. The clock tower in Mario 64 sucks. <laughs> We're good. I didn't die. <laughs> that was close, though. Deep breath. Eighteen. I, I need to get more arrows. I love how the horse has no problems getting across terrain when you call it, but then when you're on the horse itself, slightest incline or inconvenience, horse is like, nah. Huh. Can't do it. Sorry.
That has no purpose, right, other than just selling. I don't think there's a crafting or upgrade that requires that. At least I don't think so. Maybe upgrading does, but other than that, there's no purpose to that stuff. Okay, pretty much on the outskirts of Hatino here. Thank you. Ah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, good. Probably don't have to climb up this high, but... See what you're supposed to do. Let's do an impressive dive. Oh, there's a chest there. <laughs> Nearly there. Two more and then... I've tied it with deaths. I think that's a worthy goal, is like, finding more Koroks than death total, you know, ultimately. Oh shit, there's another one here somewhere. Where? bit of a problem. I don't know where this one would be. Okay, let's just hope for the best. Well, it's not in here. Oh no, the boss! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I hate the boss. Wow, I thought that would be it. Just how it just stops randomly. Even though I wasn't that close to the tree. Is this? This cork's gonna get me killed.
I don't, I don't see it. They have spears. I started it. I started what? <laughs> I didn't start anything. Alright, okay. It's probably up here. No, it's not up here. What? Referring to this hill, I think. This is worth taking out because one, it's annoying, but two, wow, really? Octo balloons. Wait. Oh no, no, it's okay. Sometimes they have fish. There's probably multiple here, but I do remember this one. Okay, that's 68. <laughs> of course there's another one. Multiple Koroks in the area, and yet I only find one. Hmm. It's probably up high. I'm just remembering another. Not necessarily here, but I'm remembering another type of Korok. The ones that are just inside a small hole in the tree. Or they're in a, a stump. But you shoot inside it. There's also the ones that's just like a random target in the air, but I don't think it's that. Probably 
Just gotta look carefully at the trees. Really not in here? Guess not. What was the first thing I did? I went and climbed a, uh, like a, a hill and dove into the, the river. Sometimes standing still is also a good idea, because then you can see it. Oh my god. Yeah, no. This doesn't help now because this makes it difficult. So it stops here, so it can't be at the river. I should be doing this. When you need to identify what is an object you can interact with, this is the best thing to do. Whether it's a stone or something hidden in a tree. I mean, if it's like one of those wispy clouds... They usually appear when you're on top of buildings like this, but it hasn't appeared. I might have to shoot a specific spot as well. I'm shooting these targets. They're bothering me. Just in case it's something dumb like this. Let's see if there's any more. There's one over there.
Is that all of them? I feel like I've gone around the whole thing now. Oh. Ha. Huh. So it was that. Oh, come on. Sixty-nine. All right, let's just quit the game now. Where'd that arrow go? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, there were too many fish there. Oh, you want you want you want to fight? All right. I'm just happy that I've caught up now, Korok wise. Oh crap. Well, that was a, a neat little distraction. Over here. <laughs> Look at the horse struggle to get to me. I, I can't be bothered with the horse. Okay, we need to be heading that way. at the end of its life. Two for one. I think I can already see. There. Yeah, thought so. Oh good, it started right. Uh, oh, what's that? You need to climb something? You spotted something that you need to climb up? Okay. It's time for rain. Wait, it stopped. Okay, good. <laughs> I think... If I go any further that way, it's gonna start raining.
Uh, I mean... We'll go with this. This is... Technically my weakest weapon. Yeah, I need more arrows. Alright. Officially overtaken death. Look at all the fish. Yep. 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 I'm surprised there isn't a fishing rod in this. They made bombing the fish OP. I got, yeah, I mean, that's true. fishing in a Zelda game. Twilight Princess had it to some degree. I mean, there was fishing in Link's Awakening. There's sometimes fishing in Zelda games. I'm not going to talk about Phantom Hourglass's fishing, because that doesn't exist, and I certainly didn't spend three hours looking for one fish. There's no time for heroics here. Not run when the reward is just so minuscule. I mean, I think the fishing is nice when it's a calm experience and it's not too daunting. But the heart piece in uh, Phantom Hourglass, man.
this should work. Wait, why, why aren't they running away? There. That's surprising that they don't work. I thought they run away from bees. Korok nearby. It's not here. There it is. Those are the ones that I was talking about. Just hope I don't have to do any climbing. from the town. I mean, that's fine. Just do this. Stay away, goat. I know what you're thinking. If you come near me, I will drop a bomb. <laughs> it was eyeballing me the whole time. No. All right, we're here. But you mean it's not here? Oh, that's the that's the evil shrine. Ah, so there are still who wants there are some who still pay me on you know. You don't say you can hear my voice? Yes. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? Long life, wealth, like so many of your kind? Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She trapped me in the stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here call me the horned statue and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. One would think years upon years of such treatment would have made me mend by ways. One would think wrongly. 
I've only been hiding, biding my time for the moment someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. But I've said enough. Now, shall we strike a bargain? What's this? You haven't even received one more heart container or stamina vessel? Such a pity. I was eager to help you with a minor transaction, but not if you have nothing to trade. Yeah, no. So wait, that, that's a quest? But what if you don't want to do that? To 100% the game, you have to do that quest. What if you have, you have no interest in such things? Can just swap vessels again, I guess. I think I know where it is, actually. No? I know there's one at the top of one of these. Up here, I guess I would have heard it by now. Yeah, it's not this one. There's definitely one on top of a flagpole. <laughs> I try my hardest not to do that, but... It can't be helped. Looking mighty free there. Another day, another rupee. What are you doing? Working, as you see. This old house here has been abandoned. Everyone in Hatina Village agreed we should demolish it. The old owner apparently went off to the castle to report for service. Never came back. Never wrote. So, away it goes. Hard I'd buy this place. Ah. 
Well, I'm not into real estate, so I can't really help you out there. If you're really interested in this place, you're going to need to talk to the boss. We need to find... Right, the... Yeah. Um, they all have sun in their name. Meow-magana. Meow-magana. I don't know why I do that. Okay. This is a gyro one. Mia ha mia mia I'm using tilt controls. Just have to be more gentle. It's <laughs> okay. Ah, shit. <laughs> Hang on. Damn it. I was trying to... Like, what if... Hear me out. Wait, really? How, do, how does that not... Also, how is this holding on? What? I, I was intentionally trying to throw, and then I, I've done it. I was trying to make it land in the middle, but... Okay. And then... Okay. Blech. I mean... Okay, down, and... Flick. Oh, shit. Stop what?! <laughs> what? Wait, what happens if you do this? I'll get the fuck out. I can just do this. There's no maze then, it's, it's just... Is this, the, is this the cheesing of it? Landed it on the railing? Okay. But in, I imagine surely this works as well. There we go. Sort of. Almost. There we go. Yeah, I guess if you're playing handheld, you can't do what I just did, but... It's about the same amount of effort. Like, sure, leading it through the maze is, is a bit more reliable, but... Ugh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I think it's... 
the effort required to get the chest and realign it and everything, it's probably just not worth it. It never these chests never are. And it is sad. I do wish they'd do something in tears just to make chests more meaningful. But see, that's, that's the thing about this game, is people would have done the maze normally. Confirm he landed it on the railing, and I flipped the thing upside down. <laughs> and just removed the maze. All valid ways of achieving the goal. That's what makes this game so great. Hey, mister, did you come from the big wide world? You look like you're good with a bone sword. You must be pretty strong. Are you strong or what? Yeah, I am. I bet you can use all sorts of weapons, right? So, do you want to help a kid's dream come true? My gramps is dead now, but when he was alive, he loved weapons, so he never got to see all the ones he wanted. So you bring me weapons and show them to me, and then I can tell gramps about them when I meet him again. Okay. Yeah, I knew you'd do it. Where should we start? Have you heard of the Traveler's Sword? I've seen it in books. Find it. Okay. I mean, there's... There might be one somewhere in town. I think with this quest, everything you need is in town. Just get weapons for kids. I mean, I'm showing him the weapon. I'm not giving him the sword. I'm not that irresponsible. Mm. Okay, okay. I've got this. Greeting time. You're a customer, right? That's right. Hi. Han, it's a customer. Looks like he's hungry to have his clothes dyed. I'll leave it to you. Welcome. If you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. You do you do. Welcome to the Kochi dye shop, where we live to die. If you have dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going. Okay. Wait, does this work? We can't dye those clothes. Yeah. That sucks. I wish the Korok mask could be dyed. <laughs> Nothing like brandishing weapons to tots. Yeah, prepare them at an early age. I don't know what you'd be preparing them for, but... I guess in this fantasy land... There has to be something.
The kid just want to say bo he wants to say boring weapons as well. It's like a traveler's sword. Come on, I I can do better. What a nice breeze. It does carry the tang of that tang of salt on it though. What do you mean? Oops, I forgot we just met. I was reminiscing about my hometown of Luralin Village by the sea. The view and the air are different here in Hatina Village, but this is where my wonderful husband calls home. I count myself lucky to be able to live and work alongside such a wonderful, loving man. Luralin Village. Small fishing community. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about Luralin. Isn't... Yeah. They'll pay. Pay you. Yes. What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. You seem harmless enough, forgive me. I've just been on edge with all these monsters running around. They come up from Hatino Beach to steal my sheep. If someone doesn't do something soon, I won't have any left. This quest... Yeah, I could do it, but I'm gonna lose weapons. Probably a rock. I was careful that time. Keep getting more of these. Beetle will keep giving me uh, elixirs. Damn it. Ooh, Sunshroom. Okay, this is a good spot for ingredients. Thought he just paid 50 rupees after the first one. No, he, it's random from memory. It's just, uh. Sometimes it's money, sometimes it's elixirs. If I, rem if I remember correctly. About that. Yeah, I mean, I'm aware of it. I just don't... I don't really use it. I do find it weird that it doesn't use stamina.
that's silent. <laughs> so the sound, the sound effect that is happening right now, it's maybe in Link's head. Just the whoosh. Such grace. <laughs> it just looks so dumb. Oh no, I, I, I'm going back for it. I was just hopping about like an idiot. Nah, I mean, what? Fuck that radish. <laughs> you weren't sure if I was going for a new strat? What's the strategy? Don't get the radish. Ah, yes, a cunning strategy. Just remove the radish out of the, the diet. No heals. I'm not that much of a masochist. Although, I mean, there's not really that much of a difference if I don't heal. I'm pretty much getting one shot anyway. I don't think I'd be able to do the no fake heart thing. I think master mode's hard enough. Even with fake hearts, when you don't have any armor, all it's doing is you, you just get one extra hit, pretty much. It's, it's just like a... It's almost like a cheat death passive. You have to cheat death once, and then that's it. There we go. I mean, the save system is nice, because you don't have to think about it, but you can if you want to. That's probably the most modern save system in a Nintendo game. the blue flame thing we're gonna have to do as well. <sighs> Good evening. This is the Hatina Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please keep it brief. Yeah. Good evening. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well, hmm? Is that... That thing on your waist? Is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis. Ah, Magnesis. Yes, yes. The Remote Bomb and Cryonis. What else? So that's it for runes, but hmm... Strange. It does seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be a reason. Ah, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? Wait, you played Minish and forgot to save the game. And hit reset game and lost seven hours. Oh no. <laughs> That's the second Zelda game that's happened to you. That lo loss of progress. I mean, Minish Cap is, is fine. Just go back to it at some point, you'll get it. 
Hello, Colin. Good morning. How's things? <laughs> Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. <sighs> Director, listen, Ms. Director. This is a real Sheikah slate. Director? Oh, that's right, I haven't introduced our director. <sighs> Ms. Pura happens to be right over there. As the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab director, Ms. Pura is the most foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. <laughs> I have the utmost respect for Ms. Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see, the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Ms. Pura herself. It's all because of the Switch Online having persistent memory, so you don't really need to save in-game. Unless you purposely want to reset the game. Ooh. Going good almost Friday, and it's going to be 81. 81. Let me convert that to Celsius. Anyone F to C. Twenty-seven. Okay, that is that is warm, especially if you're talking about a humidity thing. As an Australian, to me, that's like, oh, that's that's a nice summer day. Go to the beach, no problem. <laughs> hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon. It's me. Snappity snap. Anyway, Linky. Do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's with that look? You still remember me, right? I don't remember. Really? Well, I'm so shocked. I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though, a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the slumber of restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me? I don't remember. Hmm, as expected. After a hundred years in the slumber of restoration, Subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude. Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But... The whole thing is embarrassing. I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. I knew you'd say that. All right then, first I need you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah slate for free, did you? Hmm, post of slumber, post slumber resurrection, <laughs> restoration, geez, subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies, noted. Let me explain what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside of this laboratory? Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh. And also use it to light our furnace. This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Huh. I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then. I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Um, let me catch up on chat. <laughs> hey, Seth. How's it going? Uh, and yeah, it sucks when it's a nice day and, you know, you, you have to work. 
that's just, uh... <sighs> that's what happens when you have to be somewhat of a responsible adult. It kept raining on you, yeah. I, I was about to say I, I, I dread that it's gonna start raining. Oh yeah, like I say, I mean, I'm weird, like... I don't even know how I said it. I I, I said laboratory or laboratory. It's one of these things where Australians will say it both ways. It just depends. I should probably just drop this because I'm going to need a torch. I said it the, the fanny way. You mean funny? Fanny? Oh, fancy way. <laughs> fancy. The ah. Uh. There's a torch inside the door. Oh, wow. Well. I think there's one further down as well. They're usually just leaning up against walls everywhere, so I'm not that fuss. But see, with Dexter's lab, I'll say laboratory because that's just how I heard it when I watched that TV show. I actually looked right at it. I was probably looking at chat, to be honest. Sometimes I'll glance at chat, and whilst in-game I might be looking in a certain direction, I might not necessarily be looking at the screen. Sure, there'll be one in town somewhere. Oh. Well, that wasn't the intended effect, but sure. Just call just cause all these explosions in the water. That's fine. Wait, the frogs just vanish? Okay, well. The second bomb broke them, but then there was still fish in there that the first bomb got. Where I saw a torch somewhere around here. Yeah! Morning. You're a traveler, aren't you? Then listen up. What is it? You see those trees at the top of the snowy mountain there? I found a small letter stuck between... The pages of this old book at my house. It said when the three summit trees become one, turn your back and then head towards the sea. A trial in case and stone awaits you there. That's just a location of another one. But maybe it means we have to head to Ephrom Afrom Afromzia coast, which is just east of those three trees. Okay. Am I doing anything fun this weekend? Uh, no. I mean, that's if, if by that you mean going somewhere, no. I'm doing something fun, probably playing this. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, last weekend was the long weekend, and I hung out with my brothers and went out and got food, so... 
I think a quiet weekend is is an order. I've been watching One Piece, so I might catch up on that. Did I get my egg sandwich? I did get my bagel this morning. Yes. It was very good. It was, uh, what was it? It was like very filling, so I had a small dinner, but, um,. It was, what, two eggs and it was a garlic thyme and chili butter. It had pickled onions and also, like, these, uh, fried shallots. And bacon and then cheese. It was good. Oh, and some spicy... I don't know. I think it was, like, a spicy mayo. It was good. And then just a coffee on the side. Me to play more of this, keep getting distracted. Well, it depends if you have the goal of playing through this before Tears comes out. Which, by the way, later there are. They're going to show a three minute gameplay trailer. It's the final one before the game releases, so I'll be watching it. They're gonna live stream it. So we'll take an intermission and watch it once it's out. Do we have flavored cream cheese? Ah, uh, we do. In supermarkets, uh, like, the brand from Kraft, uh, Philadelphia, Philly Cheese. They do quite a few different ones. There's one that's just, some of them will have, like, I think there's dill, there's chives. There's one where at the bottom of it, it'll have, like, a sweet chili sauce, and then you, you kind of flip it and get it out of its container. So then it kind of drizzles down the side of it. Bunch of different ones you can get. So, I, I haven't found a torch, so that's, uh, yep. I may have to go back up and get it. New update for Against the Storm. The boys have been badgering you to play Breath of the Wild. Hey, I, I mean, you can balance it out. Just do an hour of it here and there. The thing is, if Tears of the Kingdom releases and you get it right away, you won't be playing this. But, uh, yeah, I mean, enough about me. <laughs> Does anyone have plans for the weekend? Since that was, uh, asked of me, I should ask the same. I need to get better at that. Sometimes I'm, I'm playing a game and then I'll answer a question, but I should really be like, alright, how about you? You gotta go to a birthday party, an adult one or a kid's one. Never have plans, specifically avoid plans. That's fair enough. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with playing it by ear. Kids? Okay. Kids party where you get along with the adults, or kids party where 
you being in the room with the adults is just because kids are friends. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go get the torch. Unless by mercy there's one here. No. It's okay. Well, that's new. Twitch is highlighting returning chatters now? Okay. Interesting. Hello, Lanius. Sorry. Just when your message popped up, it was in a special box and it was like, returning chatter. You get along with everyone that's to see the Mario movie, so you don't have to talk to anyone for half the party. Oh, well, that's fine. Did, and is it a thing where the kids do their own thing and then the adults break off and do their own thing? The Mario movie, yeah, at least you get to see that. It's a fun watch. I can't believe there's no torture, I swear I saw one. Probably walked past it a bunch of times. There's a new Tears of the Kingdom trailer in a few hours. I did mention that just briefly before, yeah. I'll watch it because it's being live streamed, so we'll take an intermission in about uh, three hours, I believe. That's when it's going to release, so. The party is at 10 a.m. and 45 minutes away. Jeez. Not a morning person? <laughs> it's okay, I'm not either. Unless it's for work, having to voluntarily get up that early, man. Not that 10 a.m. is early, I mean, like, say, you know, because you have to realistically, you have to leave at about, what, 9? If you want to get there, just in case traffic goes bad. So realistically, you're getting up at, like, uh... Eight, give you an hour to get ready. Maybe 7.30 if you want to include breakfast in that. It's just... If it, if it involves staying up late, I can stay up late as long as I need to. Getting up early, ugh, I just, I struggle. I, I like sleep and I like being in bed. Which is why, you know, the options for Australian streamers, it's you either stay up late or you get up early. You can guess which, which option I pick. I walked by the torch in the lab. I thought it was on the outside, but maybe it's on the inside. Or I probably walked past it a bunch of times. Going to see the Dungeons and Dragons movie. I'm not going to see that movie out of spite just because I've seen so many ads for that thing that to the point where it's just annoying me. Particularly on Twitch. I mean, maybe once it's on streaming services, but it's just... Who doesn't like sleep and staying in bed? I, I know there are some people that... It's seven in the morning and they have to be out of bed. They feel like they need to be up and doing something. Your kids don't like sleep and staying in bed. That's unfortunate. Not even one. So let's see. So I have 
three brother brothers, so there's the four of us, and you know, we were in pairs, so Parents had two, then later they had another two more. So between the pairs, one of them likes sleep and the other one doesn't, so and with the brother that's directly next to me, I like sleep, he gets up early, and then with the youngest two, there's another one that likes sleep and another one that gets up early. Twins? No, 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 no. I'm the eldest. I have three younger brothers. Yeah, I've been around kids a lot, so... I don't get annoyed easily, and sometimes, like, just them being loud is white noise. I had to take care of uh, the youngest two quite a bit. And then just so many cousins. One does, but the other two like their routine and they got up at 7 if you're lucky. You got peace until 8. Jeez. <laughs> what? Oh, that's not cool. It breaks it. The only way to get that across is with an arrow, which you, you could do, but I'm going to be lazy. Man, I guess I was the weird one, huh? Wanting to just... If it was a weekend, I wasn't getting up until like 9 at least. You can throw the torch? Oh, well, too late now. It's fine. Pretty. This is not something that I developed as an adult. It's, I've always been like this. As a kid, my brother would wake up in the morning to watch cartoons at 7. And would wake me up and be like, come on, come watch this. I'm like, no. <laughs> Give me another hour. <laughs> I'd wake up like an hour later because I had to. Otherwise, I wouldn't get to school on time. I mean, sometimes if I couldn't get back to sleep, I'd be like, all right, well, I can't sleep. I may as well watch cartoons. Well, I think I lucked out. I mean, not to knock on wood, but... Clear skies. Even if it starts raining now, it's not catastrophic pretty much outside of it.
before I mess anything up, I just walk in with this, right? I don't have to do anything special. I have to hit the furnace. But not this thing, right? Not this thing. Press A, I am pressing A. Oh, uh, Y, let's press Y. Seems most of your wounds heal during the slumber restoration. Anyway, Linky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. The Guidance Stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. <laughs> My sweet little Guidance Stone, you sure know how to make this old researcher's hot flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. Give me a nice snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Nice one. Okay then. Shika Slate repair on the way. Guidance Stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. I mean, I'll fill in the compendium to the best of my ability, but I'm not... I'm not gonna attempt to do it all, it's just whatever I can do in a month. Memories, right. In German, it's not snap, it's what? It's just, it, it sounds like that's just onomatopoeia, like the sound of it, the clicking of a camera. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the word because I'm gonna embarrass myself. Also, my, my brother's partner is German, so like, if he ever sees this stream and is like, yo, check this out, watch, watch Will try to say this German word. Not saying it! And it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, album. Yep, looks good. So I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Oh, it's already there. You've never heard it in your life, it's just the Breath of the Wild thing. Huh. I wonder where they got it from. Maybe it's slang? Hmm, I see your scars from a hundred years ago have mostly healed. In any case, how's the picture taking going? Did you take a cute pic of me with the camera? Yep. Can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Hmm? Who is this beautiful young creature? Huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Ah, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you are Princess Zelda... Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means... There's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all of the places where these pictures were taken. Alright. Oh, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome, but don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help you restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Zelda than I do. Oh yeah. There's one more thing I need from you. 
You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them to me or Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my joy weren't enough. If you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. All right, let's do this. Okay. My, Robbie is my subordinate. There, I said it. I think he's still up on the edge of a car researching the Guardians. Okay. Yeah, see, that's the problem with the uh, this whole taking photo thing, is if you, for if you forget to take a photo of a boss, that's it. It's over. Which... Yeah, I guess that's kind of the reason I don't do that stuff, is... Sometimes something obvious, you forget, you know? You can pay the hundred rupees and it'll out. Oh, right, wasn't there like a, a fill issue? I don't remember who, but... You can't buy the boss photos? I don't know. I do remember the feature, but I, it's been years since I last played this, so. But now that uh, it was mentioned, yeah, it, it, is, it is a thing. So that was a... Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. It gets added to the compendium, right? Oh no, you have to save it. That's annoying. Okay, hold on. While we're here, let's just... May as well. <laughs> okay. Lionel Sword. Croc Leaf. Long Sword. Claymore. Whoops. Guardian Sword. Great Flame Blade. Royal Broadsword. Drop. Drop. I just want to make sure I make room. Drop. Drop. Okay. I mean, I, I don't care about the photography aspect. This is just get the entry. Okay. That'll do. But hey, Kira. Okay. Well, now I think I'm going to go back to uh, the area I was doing. Although, I do want to get the process of the house started. The enemies healing while you're fighting them are stupid. Arrows are the most important thing in master mode. If, if you're not attacking something, shoot an arrow. Just keep chipping at them. You should be constantly buying arrows. 
The Coblin has an attack that lasts seven seconds. Yeah. Shoot them. I didn't say I skipped the house. <laughs> that may have been what you heard, but that's not what I said. I don't doubt that's what you heard. Sometimes it's just the way I say or pronounce things. Sometimes the compressor also does weird shit. But it's something you just gotta get used to. This is why I don't fight things, really. Unless you have to. Just... Pick your battles. Because it's just not worth it. You're gonna waste so many weapons, and the weapons... Bokoblins give you in general, they're just usually low-level weapons. So, it's... it's not really worth the effort. Chicken. Wait, really? Ha that's, that's not an entry? That's... What? Ingredients aren't entries? Okay. I thought stuff like mushrooms, though, were. Guess not. Alright. Mushrooms are. Oh, that's weird. No, I mean, I did use the zoom feature. It picks it up pretty well otherwise. But yeah, my advice would be don't, don't fight. these as well. You were never able to upgrade the Master Sword. That it, Trial of the Sword is really hard in Master Mode. I did get it done, but man, it, it took quite a few attempts to do it. Oh, what? No, come on. Really?
can't remember if uh, birds count. <laughs> Action shot, yeah. I, I did like the photography aspect to some degree because it reminded me of Pokemon Snap. Well, my, aren't you perky? Well then, need something from me? What are you, what are you doing? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are tough. Not a lot of buys, you know. So the villagers decided it was best to just tear it down. I can buy it. Hmm. Whoa, get a load of young money bags. Just wants to buy it, huh? Okie do. Let me lay it out for you. See this house? Been vacant for years. So the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. The demolition costs with associated fees, permits, and other details come at 50,000 rupees. So, when you say buy it, you're talking about 50,000 rupees. You got that much on you? Impossible. Mm Heh, -hmm. <laughs> figured. When I saw your age, I had serious money problems too, so I know how it feels all too well. Alright. Alright, look. Here's the deal, just for you. I'll cut you a special price for, of 3,000 rupees, but in return... I'm going to need you to bring me 30 wood bundles. Building materials, you know how it is. Anyway, you understand the terms? Get to it. Show me what you're made out of. That's a construction joke. Hi. Hudson, Carson, stop what you're doing. Oi. You got it. <laughs> you want to make a new save file with 50,000 and see what happens? You could do it. I'm sure it's accounted for. It usually is. Action shot! <laughs> really hope you can customize yourself more in Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know, I, I kind of like how... Link looks, to be honest. The barbarian look. Looks cool. I don't think I would want to change it too much. I mean, my playthrough is... My outfit was naked, or, uh... Because I had a friend that had, uh... I don't know where he got them from, but these amiibo cards. Where they, they mimicked amiibos. Anyway, I got the, uh, the classic Link armor. They're easy to make? Easy as in... Just need one thing, or easy as in you need to... Do certain things that, you know... The average person wouldn't be able to do. So... The concept of easy is relative. You can do it with your cell phone and little paper 30 cent tags. Right, but it's not like a... Uh, there's a process involved. Like, okay, let me put it this way. If, say... That's not good. If, say, someone was selling them for, say, ten... I don't know, like... That was almost a death. Like, ten bucks. Would you pay the ten dollars? Because, really, it's... it's the effort required, it's like, I could do it myself, or it's just ten bucks and it's not that much effort. Is it one of those things where the effort of doing it yourself outweighs, uh... How much will it cost you to just get it done? That'll do. 
ten dollars a pack I'm talking about. Because I know that they got sold in packs. I've never really looked into it. You pay the $10, then it's not worth the effort, then. Let's just pay the $10. <laughs> that's what I wanted to know. Is this something that's worth looking into, or if, say, they're able to be done cheap? Purchase on the cheap. Is it better to just purchase them on the cheap? And I think I have my answer. Especially because I re remember the ones that my friend had. They just looked like trading cards and they were pretty decent quality. So it's, it would go beyond what I would do if I was to do it myself. I might ask and see where he got them from. Because I would imagine that same functionality of outfits and stuff um, would be available in Tears of the Kingdom. Like a Pona, the only way you can get a Pona is to have the, uh, the Ocarina of Time one. And then what, you could even have a wolf companion? The one time I want the goat to be near me, it decides to run away. Every other time, eyeballs me. Looking for a, a window to strike. Alright, that'll do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Phantom goat. Alright, let me look at my map. I guess... Yeah. I'm going to head back and, uh... I'm going to start clearing a single area. I think that's my approach to it. Now that I have the photography feature. Go away. Rock. Okay. I have to get that close. Oh, come on. Because of the grass, really? <laughs> this sucks. Okay. <laughs> Got it. What does that sound? Okay, the fox. I've been doing a good job of not dying. There hasn't been any death tonight. I think.
think I got it. Nope. That got it. Okay, there we go. Well, I need to start averaging it out. At the very least, I have more Koroks than Death now, so that's... That's a step up. I do find it weird how, how selective it- wait, what? Stone pebbit? Peblet? Oh! Ha! I know what this is. That's kind of funny. Which means... There's a talus here. I haven't fought one yet. Which one's the talus? One of these is a talus. Peblet, Peblet, where's the talus? Okay. Yeah, maybe there isn't one. Would have seen it if that were the case. That's one of the, the memories of this game I have, is the first time I, I came across a talus. Just like, oh shit, what is this? <laughs> Massive surprise. When it rose from the ground. And the music changed as well. Beautiful photo. You just ordered a set of those NFC cards that were nicer than the ones you made. How much were they? All my fault. It's not my fault. Just told an anecdote. 26 Canadian. So they'd be roughly 26 Australian then. Because the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar, dollar are very similar. I don't think that worked. That should have worked. I mean, that's not bad for a good for a good print. That's what I mean. It's it's less than a dollar. And they're printed with a design, I mean, th that's the trade-off, is like, it's not worth you doing it yourself. The person is only making a little bit of money per card. They weren't available, that's weird. When I talk about my friend having them, this was, uh... Not that long after launch. I'm not sure where he would have gotten them from, but... A bee's a... They're not! Probably existed shortly after launch. They went on Amazon. Oh no, this was not something that was purchasable on Amazon. It was definitely like through some dodgy place. I mean, is it, is it piracy technically? I don't know. Probably from AliExpress. I wouldn't be surprised. At any rate, I might look into that.
I mean, if it's 26 bucks, that's for a set of, uh... But set of 36, that's, that's pretty decent. No idea if Tears of the Kingdom will have amiibo support. It's going to have amiibo support. You know why? Here's why. Because the moment that game had its uh, release date announced, they announced the amiibo that's going to be releasing with the game. Therefore, it has amiibo support. Now, to what extent? I would imagine it's the same as this game. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Oh, come on. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if today they talk about that. What tower? This is the Hatino Tower. I think. This, uh, this late movement is so weird, but it is useful. What if they announce 60 FPS? <laughs> None of the gameplay they've shown would even hint that. When they announced Skyward Sword, you could see right from the get-go when they were showing the gameplay. I was like, oh shit, is this 60 FPS? Nothing they have shown so far would even hint that that was going to be a thing. There's no way it is. It's, it's the same world. I'd be shocked if, if somehow they were able to get this, this exact same world and then some running at 60 FPS. But you know what, it was the very first thing I noticed when I started playing this, after playing Skyward Sword pretty recently. Man, I, I do miss that 60 FPS. Skyward Sword just looks so smooth compared to this. You'd be surprised if they don't start announcing a successor. They're going to, but I'm calling it now, by the end of the year they're going to announce it, it's going to release next year. That's my prediction. It might not even necessarily be a successor. One one thing that I, I think they could possibly do is have a unit that you can purchase that makes... that the Switch, the current Switch can leverage to get more power out of it. So then effectively, you know, the Switch remains your portable console, but then you, got, you get this thing that um, you can use as kind of like a home console. I would not be surprised if they go down that path. So then, you know, if people want high definition or smooth 60 FPS gameplay, they just get this this thing. A 1080 60p hands 1080p 60 ha FPS handheld would be nice. I doubt they're gonna do that. The thing is, I don't think they'd want to sacrifice the battery life. You could you could definitely do it, it's just it would have a it would have a terrible battery life. It's kinda like Okay. 
Alienware and laptops, you know, those laptops, yes, they're powerful, but in terms of usability, it's like you get, you have all this power, but then you're kind of restricted pretty much by the battery and then you, you pretty much have to live plugged in. So you may as well get the fucking desktop at that point. Like you're just, you're just fooling yourself that you have a laptop. And I think that's what would happen if they made a, a super powerful switch. It's just... It could be powerful, but it would defeat the purpose of the portability. <laughs> I knew a few people that had gaming laptops and they would be these... large, bulky, heavy things. And they'd be able to play it for two hours at most, and then they would have to plug in. This is the only annoying thing about this, is just you have to... ...constantly... I wish there was a delete all option. Get what I mean, but think they could get a good battery life out of 1080p 60fps points at the Steam Deck. If I'm not mistaken, the Steam Deck does not do 1080p at 60fps. I believe it can using what it leverages through our remote play or whatever it is. But I don't think uh, natively it does that, if I'm not wrong. Let me just see. I'll fact check this. Let's see. Yeah, so this, the... First of all, the resolution of the Steam Deck is 1280 by 800, so... Just by that... There you go, the Steam, even the Steam Deck doesn't do it. Oh yeah, there is, select all, there you go, cool. Delete. Nah, it's there. This is definitely a user error, not... So I retract that statement and admit I was wrong. Oh wait, there's a yep, there's a stall thing after me. Um anyway, the Steam Deck doesn't even do that, dude. So that's what I'm saying, is like even Valve isn't doing it. They could, but you know the reason they don't? Because it would defeat the purpose of the portability. It's just too taxing on the battery. Or you'd have to have a part that's just too bulky just for the sake of having that power I just bring up the alienware example because that's the best way to put it is like you could have an alienware thing but you know to have that it just you sacrifice something at the end of the day to get power you need to sacrifice portability That's why I, I don't believe a 1080p. Maybe 720p, 60 FPS. I think that's more realistic. But definitely not 1080p. They wouldn't do it. I think 720p, 60 FPS is more realistic. Steam Deck is powerful enough to do it, but it doesn't. Like, this is a hypothetical. The screen on the Steam Deck is... I just read the resolution. It can't do it. <laughs> Period. The screen it has doesn't support it. And I would bet... It doesn't have the power to do it without sacrificing battery to the point where you have to be plugged in constantly. Like, I never doubted that it could do it, right? It's not a question of whether it can do it. It's a question of whether it can do it without sacrificing portability and battery life, both of those things. Because if you're sacrificing those things to the point where you may as well get a desktop, 
then there's no point in the the unit. You can output. Did, did you hear what I just said? You're outputting it, but it's from it's from a dock, so it's plugged in. Therefore, it becomes a physical unit. It's not portable anymore the moment it goes to a display. It's from a cable, right. It's not portable anymore because you're plugging it into a monitor. It's not portable anymore. We're talking about something that's its own unit. You don't have to plug it into anything else. The screen on the unit runs at 1080p 60fps. I'm not talking about being able to output it to something external. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about something that has that capability. But it's still outputting that graphics power. Yeah, but you have it plugged in. You can't take that on the go. I'm not talking about whether or not it has the graphics power. I'm saying you wouldn't be able to have that on the go. You know the reason they allow that is because... When, the moment you have to plug in the monitor, you're probably going to have a, a power cable sitting right next to it. It's no longer a portable console. I'm talking about purely in the context of a portable console, which is what the Switch is. I think, like, you're focusing too much on the can. Like, yeah, you can do it, but would you, like... At some point, you're going to have to plug it in because it's going to drain your power quicker than just using the native screen on it. Like, that's just fact. You can do it. Just like you can purchase an Alienware laptop, have something comparable to a desktop, but your battery's not going to last. You could not be plugged in and use it for a while, but your battery's going to drain much quicker. And at that point, it's it's just pointless to have a unit like that, in my opinion. It's just... If you can only play for a couple of hours before having to plug in, what's the point of having the portable unit? Or better yet, like, you're going to be sitting in front of a, com a computer screen just to get 1080p? What's the point? That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say is, like... Bottom line, can I have a 1080p portable console that runs at 60 FPS that I can take on a bus? The Steam Deck can't do that. End of discussion. <laughs> like, that's what I'm trying to get to. You're not going to have a portable console that does that yet. That's what I'm trying to say is like, that. this is what the Switch is currently. It's this thing that you can take everywhere. I'm not trying to get heated. I just I just want to be crystal clear. Like, I think we're focusing too much on can it. It's like, I, I wasn't debating on the fact that it, it can. I said it a, a few times. It's like, you can. But it comes with compromise. It's like, yeah, it can output to a monitor, but then you have a monitor. It's not the same as running it on the screen natively that I can take on a bus. What Nintendo is likely to do, it probably won't be that. Honestly, if I was to take a guess, it probably won't be much different from the Switch. The one that we have right now. It probably won't be that different. If I was to take a stab, whatever they're going to do next, it'll just run <laughs> the current games, but at a stable 30 FPS. And maybe be able to do 720p at 60. That would be the best case scenario. Or the alternative is where you have this box that you put your Switch into and then, you know, it leverages that the power of that box and then, you know, you have effectively a home console that can run better quality games. But the portability factor, I really doubt they're going to do something insane. I, I just, I don't see it. When was the last time Nintendo did something that was like, wow, this is like the most powerful thing out on the market right now? Like, that's what you're talking about, effectively. 
They haven't done that in a very long time. The SNES. Yeah. And when was the SNES? <laughs> when was the SNES? How many years ago was that? And what have they done since? I guess what I'm saying is that they don't do the most powerful hardware. They just haven't done that in a very long time. And to talk about a portable console that does 1080p at 60 FPS, you would effectively be saying, yeah, Nintendo's going to make the most powerful hardware this generation, which they haven't done in about 30 years. Points at all the 4K consoles out there. Just because they exist doesn't mean Nintendo's gonna do it, dude. Ex it, that's just confirmation bias. Just look at their track record for the last five, six consoles. And what they've done, typically. I'm not saying it's impossible, it's one of those things that I'm not debating whether they can. Of course they can. But would they? I, I really doubt it. Most powerful hardware for a portable? Let's talk about a portable. Again, something you can take on the bus, not connected to anything. The, Nate, the screen that it runs on is something that's 1080p. Same size as the Switch, and has a battery life of five hours. Yeah, that's really powerful hardware. Or good hardware. Maybe powerful is the wrong word. Name a product on the market that does that right now. The only thing that would come close would be a smartphone. But, you know, that's not high fidelity either. Like, we're focusing too much on the hypothetical of there's stuff out there, and I'm sure there is, but it, what, this is Nintendo we're talking about. Just watch what happens when you see what they do. I think people romanticize, like, this fabled Switch Pro that people have been talking about for, like, the last four or five years. There's just all these people saying, yeah, Nintendo's gonna do 4K. Nintendo's gonna do 1080p 60fps. And nothing has surfaced. Article saying, guaranteed in the next year. when they just have no track record of doing such a thing. Whatever they do next is either going to be a new way to play, or it's going to be the most modest of hardware revisions. Okay, cons consider... Consider... The, the the DS and the 3DS. Just how have those products evolved, right? The DS got the, the DS Lite and then the DSi, ultimately. And then the 3DS got the 3DS and then the 3D the new 3DS. And those were those that was that was it. And then you look at the relative difference between the two consoles, they're not that different. Power, yes, there's a night and day thing, for sure, but 
to say that it was, you know, the biggest leap they could have made during that era, no. Also, am I here yet? Yeah, cool. Alright, I'm in this area, so we're gonna hang out here for a while. To be clear, the new 3DS performance is ridiculously high. Yeah, but it doesn't... There's like, what, three games, four games that leverage it? I think it's it's like a very small amount. But it's not the largest technological leap they could have made, is my point. They made something reasonable, but not like, you know, within dreams, you know? Like, what we're talking about here is the dream. And they just haven't really ever done that in the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years. Yeah, but, dude, like, I'm not saying the jump wasn't big. I'm just saying it wasn't the biggest jump they could have made. Just listen to what I'm saying. This is all about size of, like, uh, how much of a technological leap Nintendo makes between consoles. Bloopy. This is all I'm trying to say is, like, what we're talking about here, in the context of what the Switch currently does, right? You're talking about a pretty big leap, and Nintendo just doesn't have a track record of doing that. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not trying to debate whether or not uh, better things are doable, right? Or whether or not they made a leap or not. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to establish as they don't, they don't have a pattern. They can't even get their online services right. <laughs> like, for fuck's sake. There are games from the early 2000s that run better from an internet point of view. They just, they just don't do this stuff. They don't, they don't make things the best they can be in terms of, you know, what it could run. But they do make stuff that's fun to play. Or creative enough to use. What? I don't like Mario Maker peer-to-peer. -peer. But peer-to-peer, -peer, even peer-to-peer -peer is not that bad. Are you kidding? Like, I, I, <laughs> I played peer-to-peer -peer game. That's what it was in the early 2000s, like, primarily peer-to-peer -peer on console. Peer-to-peer -peer is not bad. It's whatever, whatever they did to make it so, oh yes, let's just make every character run at four frames a second. I should probably eat, otherwise I'm gonna die. Yeah, I want to take a photo of the Octorok, but it's being a dick. Did I get it? No. Got it! Ah, <laughs> oh dear. All right. Let's just wrap this up, but you know, the these are just my my thoughts just to be clear. Like I'm not saying what I'm saying is certain, but I'm making a pretty educated guess just based on what what I know about them as a company and the consoles I've purchased from them and the stuff they've announced over the years. All right? That's a cool photo.
Hey, you know, if I end up being wrong, I'll be like, all right, cool. I was wrong. Move on. What? I need to leave this area. But, you know, this isn't the first time where... Yep. On the loom of a new Nintendo consoles, just like the fantasies of what Nintendo could do, always come out, and it's just like, yeah, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not saying I wouldn't want that stuff either. But the likelihood is just... it's not high. It's not zero, but it's not high. How old is the Switch? Uh, six. I believe this is six, if I'm not wrong. 2017 it came out. It was pretty revolutionary, but the hardware it used at the time, they didn't really pick... You know, I guess that's the thing as well. Look at the Switch. What they chose to use, right? Like, it's... They didn't go with the best they could have used. Yeah, it's been out for about six years, so it is rough. Where am I being? S this is ridiculous. Like, I'm getting... The AP was among the top 80%. Or it's, you mean top 20. I know what you mean. Yeah, but again, that's not the best they could have done. Compared, compared to, say, Sony or Microsoft, where they're, they're kind of in the business of making their consoles and bragging about, yeah, this is like top class, all that shit. The thing they were selling the most wasn't the power behind the Switch, it was how you used it. I have to wait for nighttime for this, I guess. Um, but I will mark it, so let's just do that. Top 20% would be 1080p60, but 1080p60 having an external monitor hooked to your device, or 1080p60, I'm able to take this on a bus and I can play that for five hours without stress. What are you talking, like, which are you talking about? Uh, you're focusing too much on the resolution. Like, put the resolution aside. The capability on a bus for five hours. That's what I'm talking about. I don't doubt that they can put out a device that, like, when docked, you could probably achieve that. I don't doubt that. In fact, I even said, you know. They might put out- they might just very well put out a box that lets you leverage your current console and let it be more powerful. That was one that- didn't I say that? What I was questioning was when it's in portable mode, when I'm on a bus, I don't think it's going to change that much. I don't think it's going to be 1080p60. 720p60? That'd be cool. Would love that. Yeah, a Switch 2 that has an eGPU dock would be smexy. I agree. I agree. That's that's what I would love. You got sidetracked. No, I get I, I get it. Like I guess that's what I, I was repeating the point, just to drill it. Like I wasn't trying to debate that there aren't computers or portable devices that when you you know you attach you, that can be attached to a monitor. That wasn't a debate at all. Just in the context of the handheld, like the actual Switch unit. Being able to take something on a bus that has the same roughly five hour battery life, right? Has a 1080p screen and runs at 60 FPS. It's unlikely. I'd be more willing to bet that they're gonna do something with a dock. Which is one, which is probably the very first thing I said. I was like, 
You know, the other thing they could do would be have some sort of thing that you plug your current Switch into and then it just leverages the power of the box. Then you have a portable console and, you know, this new thing will be your, your home console. Where is this? I'm hearing the beeping and I'm looking around. I'm getting sidetracked. Wait, is this, is this what I think it is? No. It would have come up. It is awfully suspicious. <laughs> the shape of it. I was like, hmm. Doubt they'll release any GPU dock for the current Switch, but you could see them doing a Switch too. Only because Nintendo did not follow USB-C standards. Fair enough. I mean, I'm not that proficient in what they did with the hardware. So. But even if you have to purchase a whole new Switch, I, I would bet that, you know, it's going to be a thing where... The handheld mode isn't going to be that much different from what it is today, but then whatever the dock is, it'll it'll be something that lets you do 60 FPS and all that all that shit, right? And probably with the current Switch library, it'd be kind of shitty if you <laughs> it was completely new games. Where the heck is this? Shrine. Right, anyway. That was that was a bit of a discussion. <laughs> Sorry, bystanders, if you're, like, listening and it's just, oh my god, will they just shut up about the, the switch? A bunch of nerds. Listen to them talking about a hypothetical thing. Okay. You... Has this thing just been chasing me this entire time? I do appreciate the conversation, though. Still using launch day? Yeah, I, I was using my launch day switch until a few months ago. I caved and got an OLED and... Uh, yeah. Nothing's wrong with nerds. Good. <laughs> I'd be like, I hate to break it to you, you're in the wrong place if you have a problem with nerds. <sighs> Want to take photo of fish? Leave me alone. Almost never use the thing in handheld mode. Uh... I'd use it, I'd say, like, maybe 20% of the time, because I work from home now. Maybe less than 20, but it used to be a lot higher. Um, but, you know, when I do get, uh... My, uh, periods of time where I'm playing Diablo... Or, Di well, Diablo 2 specifically now. Man, I love... You know, I'll, I'll be grinding for, for gear. And I'll just be on the couch, uh... Watching stuff, right? So that's... That's the extent I use it to. Is my Switch bending at all by the vents? Uh, not that I've noticed, no. The only thing, the only issue I had was, I mean, you saw confirming my, my Joy-Cons, fucking hell. <laughs> that was bad. But it's okay, the firmware, um, update fixed it. 
that's the only issue I've had with the OLED was just the Joy-Cons. They needed that firmware upgrade. Firmware, yeah. You can you have to manually update your controller. There was it wasn't a drift issue, it was like the gyro was just being weird. I mean, check. Uh, you do have to do it manually. It's not an automatic thing. It, it's not like the system update where uh, it'll pop up. You have to go into your controllers and... I mean, yeah, what I was having was my gyro aim was just acting so erratic. It was very shaky. It looked like I had very... Sh like a very shaky grip. Uh, and... Sometimes it would just start moving to the top left or bottom right corner. It was, it was horrible. If you watch when I was playing Skyward Sword, that's when... Yeah. I was using those Joy-Cons properly for the first time. The drift thing sucks. That's just like... Every controller made after the, the PS3, it's they all start doing that eventually. And unfortunately, the only fix is to swap out the part, pretty much. Which... I can't believe Nintendo won the lawsuit. <laughs> there was a lawsuit against them over the Joy-Con issues, and they won. I, I don't remember what the result, like, technically was. It was some... It was a technicality, but... It was something where, you know, they were void of responsibility. But yeah, they won it. Hang on, what was it? It was... Nintendo wins Joy-Con lawsuit. Yeah, so they won the class action lawsuit. And the reasoning was... Hold on. It was something to do with their end user license agreement. Something in that let them get out of responsibility for it. But yet... They still have the free repair program, so it's like... They're having their cake and eat it, too. It's like, yeah, we'll repair anything that has a problem for free. But, you know, there's, there's no problem. It's like, so if there's no problem, why do you have this repair program? Anyway. <laughs> Let's see if I can get to that. Also, lightning. We need to remove. Um, we'll go... Ancient Sword and Ancient Shield. There we go. Guardian Shield, I should say. $80 for new Joy-Cons is crazy. Yeah, and they're not very good controllers. When when it boils down to it, right? They don't have a D-pad. Their analog sticks suck. It's just the fact that they're for the Switch and it's a portable console. That's really the only reason you get them. But, you know, if you were to... Have them not be for the Switch and it was just like a standard controller, you would say this controller is horrible. Yours has a D-pad. Yeah, yeah, because you're a nerd, confirm me, and you modified yours. Much like quite a few of us. <laughs> Out of the box, they don't have a D-pad. I will say, um, I don't really use the Joy-Cons. When I'm in handheld mode, I got these, uh, it's called the Split Pad Pro, and it's an officially licensed controller, but it's made by a different company. And it has big analog sticks and a big D-pad on it, and it's fantastic. The only thing it doesn't have is the rumble or the, uh, the Amiibo support. So if you can do without that, it is, it is excellent. By Hori, yep. They're good. If you have big hands as well, man, they, they are so good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
What do you think? YouTubers, people watching on YouTube later, what do you think Nintendo's gonna release? Let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry, that felt a little disgusting. <laughs> I just... Ah. <sighs> Typical YouTuber stuff. I always forget to do that shit. Our account makes you cry. Yeah, I mean... I should have bought someone that was in Hatina, but I didn't see the shop, so... I need to find Bid Biddle. When this video releases, remind you to comment so you can say 1080p 60. <laughs> Uh, just after all this, you still are like, yep, no, 1080p 60fps, portable console. Uh, it's probably gonna release tomorrow. I... I've been putting the Breath of the Wild VODs up pretty much instantly. I don't stream on TikTok. Uh, no. I've, I've heard two things about tic TikTok streaming. One is like... I've heard people getting banned for sometimes talking about lewd shit. Like, they are... They might be a, a bit strict when it comes to that stuff. Some s larger streamers that I've watched, I know a, a few of them that have gotten banned for stuff that's, like, perfectly normal, but I think it's just... I don't know. But the other thing is I'm not 100% sure my internet connection would be able to handle both at the same time. I'd be willing to try, but... There is that concern. I mean... This is definitely old man mode coming out, but... <laughs> how is it like on TikTok? Do many people watch streams? The other thing is, I guess I would have to have TikTok open and acknowledge TikTok as a chat, which... It's two chats, you know. I'd have to be like, oh, well, uh, yeah, we, we just got a comment here from TikTok. Yeah, I don't know. This is one of these things where, uh... I guess I asked the people that use TikTok. It's not... bad watching there, but I need a thousand followers. You know what? I'm almost there. <laughs> it's like... Because of... The three... Three videos I... Like... They're just... What? Two of them were Stardew videos, I think. And one of them was like a... A, uh, a Terraria videos. Those videos have pretty much gotten me, like, 90% of my followers. I think I'm almost at 700 now on it. And those 700 are, are pretty much all from this year. But I haven't really done much with TikTok. I just don't browse it. Yeah, I mean, a couple of those videos went viral semi-viral but everything else it's it doesn't really do that well it's just you know when i put clips up there it's uh, it's it's not that much viewership like I, i'd have to make more content like that where it's instructional or me me doing something Going beyond just sharing a clip of me, like, say, getting hit by a rock and dying and then screaming. But... I have heard that, uh... People do... Can... Do pretty well by streaming on TikTok. I have heard it. It's not a guarantee, but there's definitely success stories out there.
But the other thing, I guess, is, you know, I've had those those three or so posts go semi-viral, but I don't think I've had anyone turn up here and be like, yo, I came from, I saw your, your thing on TikTok and I'm here. I, I can't say I've had someone be like, yeah, I came from TikTok. I've had people come over from YouTube. Um, once from Twitter, but... I don't know, is there anyone here that found me on TikTok? Anyone? Anyone at all? <laughs> Just hoping it won't get banned here. Yeah! I mean, I guess that's the other question is, if they do ban it in America, I think other countries might follow suit. Um... Because they've done that with a few things, like, uh, in the computer hardware world, there's a company called Huawei, and... A lot of countries have just banned, uh, that- that hardware. And it's- it's one of those things, it's just... Once one country does it, then others start following suit. Did not looked up anyone playing Zelda and I was on, haven't left. Well, happy to have you. <laughs> but I mean, uh, shit, I'm, I'm gonna run out of Zelda games soon. After Tears, it's just, well, the only options I have is uh, somehow get a copy of that Four Swords one or just play the three Forbidden Zelda titles. <laughs> Those that shall not be named in. In the presence of Nintendo. I still haven't really decided what I'm going to do after Tears from a game perspective. I have options, it's just I guess it'll be a mix of what I feel like I want to do at the time and also what maybe some of the regulars would want to see. There's a Korok here somewhere. Do I play Mario Kart or Mario Party? Uh, off stream I've played it with family and friends, but on stream... I, no. I do have the games though. I do have Mario Kart 8 and I do have the, the new Mario Party, the good one. I do have them. I would get my ass kicked at Mario Party. <laughs> Probably more so Mario Kart. Oh, this one, right. It's over there. Those ones are, are ones that I'd be glad to do if, like, I had people, you know, and could play on Discord, because then it's interesting to hear everyone, but... You know, beyond the, the random person that pops into the stream and their very first message is, Can I play? Beyond that. Uh, what should I use here? I mean, I, I guess I, it, this is my weakest weapon, technically. I probably should have saved. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Oh, wait, I can't stasis. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Okay. Well, it's too late to save here, so... Oh, that sucks. This is what I don't like about these particular Koroks, is you just have to sacrifice a weapon. 
Oh, no. I can't stop it because I'm going to die if I do. This, this is frustrating. Okay. We're going to have to use the big one. Probably too strong. Shit! <laughs> Can I load? I don't want to lose multiple weapons. How long ago was it? Five minutes ago. Have I done anything important in the last five minutes? I don't think I have. Fetch. Uh, uh, but it's, if... I haven't... I haven't found a Korok in the last five minutes. Yeah, this is why I don't like these ones. Look at... Oh, fetch it, you say? Fetch, huh? Fetch. Yep, I'm gonna go down to the bottom of that hill. <laughs> We're loading. Okay. As far as, like, contenders for what I'm gonna do next after tears... Okay, this is what I have on my desk currently. Because they're just here as reminders. So, it's been requested for the longest amount of time, but people want me to play The Last of Us. So I have that, the remake. I have God of War Ragnarok sitting here. I have the new uh, game from the Yakuza franchise, which... I think that one's a bit split. People do enjoy it. But it's fun. But this one's set in ancient Japan, so it's not really... A Yakuza game. It's more like just a comedy samurai game, I guess. And then, you know, there's, there's a bunch of, like, older stuff that has been sitting here for a while. Like Samus Returns I got behind me somewhere. Don't know what The Last of Us is, but you keep hearing about it. It's... It's a game that is pretty much like a movie, and it's, it's a horror apocalyptic thing that follows the story of a man protecting a young girl. That's the loose plot. May have gotten it wrong slightly, but I haven't seen it or played it. Because there's a TV adaptation right now. Mark the location. Does it still mark the location if I load? Doesn't it, like... Surely it wouldn't keep the location marked, would it? Because it's a load point. I'd be loading a different save point. It's around here, so I wouldn't stress too much. But yeah, it's one of these things. It's, hi it's highly cinematic, and it has horror themes. I'm not sure if it gives you choices. It might. But it's one of those things that it's it's like a movie. And it's the same with God of War. God of War is an action game, but it's it tells a story. So they're, they're both uh, very story-driven. And same with uh, Like a Dragon, which is, you know, from the Yakuza franchise. It, it tells a story. But the difference with that one is, like, it tells a story, you know, you'll go from a very serious plot, and then everything else you do in between is, like, imagine playing a wrestling game, and then they mix in these weird minigames, and then there's fighting in between. I would not be able to describe or do justice the level of insanity that some of those games have in terms of side content. Last of Us is a fairly overrated story. Look, overrated. I'll agree, like, there are a lot of people that are very quick to say that that's one of the best, it's like the best game ever. I don't think it's that. I think it's good. This is just coming from, you know, what I've seen of it, because I have seen a little bit of gameplay. Um,. When it first came out. It's a fun game. It looked like I was like, yeah, I could enjoy this. I could see getting behind this, right? 
It's worth a it's worth a look. And it's a game, you know, I'm not I don't really care about plot holes either. It's just there's so many games I play that that's like the furthest thing away from me. But yeah. Also, spoilers, please. I haven't played the game yet. So keep the discussion generic. All I saw from a gameplay perspective was just combat, that's all. I haven't really delved into story at all. Happens in several zombie stories, I guess. But you know. Just saying plot holes was enough. I probably should have saved here. Like, I didn't need to know what the plot hole was. Alright, please let that be enough. <laughs> I hate this. Alright, try that. But I guess I can overlook that stuff. Alright, cool. We're loading again. <laughs> ah. I'm going to save... Uh, just remind me to save the moment I get there. But yeah, I mean... I want to play something that I know people will want to see me play, but also something that I'll enjoy. I'll probably enjoy it regardless of plot holes. Yeah. I mean, there are games where I have where, you know, there's there's issues from story and I just laugh at it. It's just... It's just not something I, I, I guess, put too much attention into. And here's why, you know, grow, growing up, chat, um, in my group of friends, there was, uh, there was one kid. One kid, and I'm sure this is a pretty common thing, is just... Pretty much referred to as the one annoying friend. And it's just, no matter what it was, it didn't matter what it was, we'd just always be looking for a reason to just shit on something. Or, you know... A common sentence was, well, technically, actually, it's just. I think it's fine to critique stuff, but I don't know. If something is like 90% fine. And it's just a matter of turn your brain off. It's just turn your brain off. Well, like around the Mario movie, this would be one person that would be over analyzing the plot of a kid's movie and being like, well, it should have dove into the lore of Mario and all this other stuff. 
I, I can hear it in my head. <laughs> Me, I'm like, yeah, the Mario movie, its plot wasn't the, the deepest thing, right? It wasn't. But if I was seven years old and that was the Mario movie that came out when I was a kid, fucking hell, I would have been over the moon. Like, I would have been super happy. Even with the one that, that was out in 1993, I was still happy about it. Because it was just, you know, crap, I died. For all, for all the flaws that the 1993 movie had, at the end of the day, it was a movie about a set of characters in games that I loved and just being able to see that represented. I didn't care. I didn't analyze it in the slightest. Wow, I actually died. <laughs> so from that experience, you know, having someone like that in your circle of friends and just ugh, didn't matter what you were doing it was always just always looking to make something seem not perfect or just not up to standard or just nitpicking you know just having that constantly it changed my perspective a little it's just like I don't want to be that I can acknowledge if something's campy or cheesy or it's, you know, it's bad overall, but it doesn't mean I, I, I can't enjoy it. It's like, it's just... <sighs> this is just... This is horrible. Every Korok here is wanting me to get rid of my weapons. <sighs> anyway, I guess all I'm trying to say is like, Life is too short to get bothered by stuff like that, or focus on just, well, yeah, it just has these inadequacies. It's like, yeah, I'm sure it does. Oh, dude. <laughs> I read a few of the reviews for... For the Mario movie. And some of these are just coming from people that just haven't played any other games and don't realize that it's a movie for kids slash people that are huge fans of the series or have played a Mario game at the very least. Okay, hold up. This is this is a camera. Oh, the jelly's not used, really. Okay. If I walked around carrying a giant metal block, I could just push away these obstructions and never have to use weapons. I mean, probably. Do Koroks count? No, they don't. <laughs> Oh no, they're attacking- they're attacking the Korok. It's okay. They left them alone. Oh. Okay. It's up on this hill, but, you know, I'm kind of glad I went down this way. There's also some of the roguelikes that I just... I need to go back to The Binding of Isaac. I said I was going to finish it, but I've just gotten sidetracked by so much other stuff. And I'm kind of up to the point in uh, 
in that game where things are just getting really difficult. How did I die? Um, I blew myself up trying to not use a weapon. There was one, you know how there's like a slab on the ground and then you have to use a weapon to get it off with stasis? I was like, I already have to waste a weapon on this stupid golf thing. I didn't want to waste another one. So I did what I did last time, which was just using bombs and stasis, just move it. But I messed up. <laughs> I wasn't as far away as I had hoped. So yeah, explosion, death. But give me credit, it's like been three and a half hours and I haven't died. And it's not like I haven't come across enemies. And we've had close calls. Like that, that spike ball that almost immediately took me out. Oh, is that meme deaths? Well, I just have to die another... 350 times. Then we'll get to the next meme number. Which, honestly, probably realistic. It might happen. You think I'll die 420 times? Okay, you know what? Do you want to make a contest out of it? I can make a contest out of it. Let's say, I don't know what to make a prize. I don't know what prize to give, but like, if you can be the closest to guess how many deaths I'll have by the end of this, I'll open this out to like, I guess the regular people. You're classified as a regular if you've seen pretty much me play more than one game at this point, or at, at the very least. I know that's very arbitrary, but I have to set some boundary. But if you can... If you want to guess... I'll think about a prize. It's like, you know, the, the jelly beans in the jar, except it's how many times I'm going to die in total. <laughs> if you're one of us, exactly. You'll know if you're one of us. Yeah, I saved. I, re I remembered. This is- this is frustrating. Stop! Stop! Oh, no, no! <laughs> this one sucks. It sucks so much. I hate it. It's honestly easier if you push it. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's... If I can get it in one... That's, that's my hope. Just have one moment of being impressive. I'm sure there's a way to land it in one.
Oh no, that's that's too, that, why did I do that for? That's a throw. Okay, I'm loading. <laughs> that was. Uh, if I would have done that, not at full strength, I probably would have gotten it. I don't know why. Uh, I'm an idiot. I, I hate, I hate this, because I don't want to use any of this. No, I'm just going to go with this. Good enough. That'll do. Yeah. Well, the coral leaf is there for utility, so then I'm not searching for it. At the end of the day, I had to give up one weapon, so that's fine. I'll, I'll settle for that. No, I don't. No, I don't. What? <laughs> Searching for a Korok leaf is a thing. It... It can happen. Beep. Blowing up a tree doesn't guarantee it. And if you have really, really chaotic luck... If you have really, really chaotic luck, you can be unfortunate. Listen, Kira. When I get when I get up to the this this Korok seed, when I get up to this Korok seed, I'll point it out. No, you know what? I'll point I'll point out what happened right now. This is the kind of luck I have. The Korok seed where it's three apple trees in a row. Three apple trees in a row. That Korok seed. You know that Korok seed. There's there's a lot of them. I was I was running. Oh cool. There's a Korok. Okay, I'll go over and do it. It starts raining. There's lightning. It strikes the tree with lightning. I'm like, oh man, that was unlucky. Alright, let me load again. Load the file again. It strikes the tree with lightning. Again. Load the file again. Strikes the tree with lightning. Every time I loaded the file, it just kept striking the tree with lightning. Not the same tree either. <laughs> just... Predefined strike zone. Pr probably. Didn't matter what I did. Just one of the trees kept getting struck by lightning. I even I even went to the extent of being like, alright, let me walk around for two minutes and then come back. Nope. Still got struck by lightning. <laughs> I had to leave it. Or just my my ability to just somehow make a game behave erratically. At some point, almost every game I play, I do something to make it behave weird. Whether it's a complete glitch or just something where it's like, huh, that was weird. I am also, I saw that. I am a beautiful butterfly. Okay. I do appreciate that. When I say I'm an idiot, it's, I don't believe I'm an idiot. I mean, I can do 
things that I, I'm like, oh wow, that was dumb, but I don't believe I'm an idiot. Like, yeah, you know, uh, blowing up, blowing up Link. Definitely not the smartest move. Sometimes a simple task and I overcomplicate it. I make it. You choked off a few pieces of nuggies after the butterfly thing? What, hearing me say that? <laughs> I guess my, uh. My way of saying it. Oh, you saying that. Right, got it. Oh, and another another game that's sitting here. I have the Warrior game on GameCube that I want to play, but I'm not sure when to fit that in. But you know that's going to be fun. Because then I get to do the funny man voice. And that's a good one. It's the one that has uh, the most voice acting in it. What is the funny voice? The Warrior voice. <laughs> Just... Me saying stupid things. Yeah, this is the one on top of the mountain, so I need to wear this. If I was to play Mario Party with people, you know, the, the, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to pick Wario and just to distract people. I'm going to be doing that voice. Just regular talking. I mean, if you find my voice funny, that's fine. I have no qualms with that. Funny is a lot better than annoying, I guess. I mean, I don't think my default is funny. My voice can sound funny if uh, I'm frustrated. But I think my, my default is just... Or at least I feel it, it, it's a bit sarcastic or maybe a bit bored. <laughs> I don't know. Oh look, it's a blood moon. I can't objectively judge my own voice. Yeah. 
maybe try sexy voice. Yeah, pass. <laughs> Granted, a few times in my work career, just with a couple of clients that, uh, it was like in my 20s. I've been told that if I haven't slept, and I sound really tired, my voice just seems to be deeper than usual. So I remember one meeting, it was just, after I was done, they were like, whoa, what's, what was with the sexy voice? I'm like, I haven't slept, leave me alone. Not so much like that anymore. Oh yeah, this is the, uh, yep, yep, yep. This is the one that's the two-parter. Clients request sexy voice, and I request it. At the, keep in mind I live in Australia and, you know, people are smart asses, so it was more like a smart ass comment. They weren't being sincere. Or maybe just jokingly so, but gotta remember this is these are Australians we're talking about. Oh, see so, you no, know, this is this is where I need to do the solution. It's not the one with the the answers. Or am I wrong? Let me go have a look. I'm pretty sure this is the one with the solution. I think this is the one with the solution. Do I want a time saving hint? I know what it is. It's every column is counting the constellations, but it's not here. It's in the other one. So you just have to put the, uh, the counts. It's almost like an abacus, but not really. I just need to head to the other one first. The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. It'd be spooky if it was accurate, but there's no red bokoblins. Shit, you know, I should have taken a break. There's like an- there's, there's about an hour. I guess I can just put the reaction viewing thing here and then just split it later. I lost track of time, but there's, there's about an hour before uh, they, they air it. It's only three minutes long, so if you don't want to be spoiled, don't worry. It's, it's not that long. I just wonder what they're going to show. She enough. Well, maybe I'm wrong about this one. I mean, I need to take a screenshot of either. Hang on, what does it say at the entrance? It'll be obvious when I read this. The shrines atop these share a connection. Their memory... ...the answer to the other's question. Yeah. I don't have to commit it to memory. Uh, 
I think I'm thinking of another one with the constellation thing, but I mean either way these are these are linked. Five one two four two. Okay, it's probably a better idea. It's just remember it like that. So no one wants to take a guess as to how many I'm gonna how many deaths I'm gonna end up with. I mean a, a realistic guess. It's the the ja, the jelly bean contest, except with it's with deaths. 420, that is that is what you really think it's gonna be. I'm, I'm not gonna say what I think, because then I might get accused of rigging it. So I'm not- I'm not even gonna mention what I think. How long am I doing three hearts again? Until- so... I can't get all the shrines with three hearts, because there is one shrine where you have to defeat one of the divine beasts to get it, I believe. So I think I can do a hundred and something, like almost all of them. So once that's done, once the shrines are done, it'll be uh, seven hearts. And then with those seven hearts, I have to do the motorcycle trial. Right? And once the motorcycle trial is done, and assuming I'm still committing to the Koroks, I have to find the rest of the Koroks. Once the Koroks are done, then I have the power to upgrade everything, you know, health and everything, right? Once that's done, it's the Master Sword trial. And then it's Ganon. That's the plan. But obviously, the constraint is whatever I can do within the, uh, the month up until Tears of the Kingdom. But it's pretty safe to say that Three Hearts is going to be at least 90%. Of the playthrough, at least. I do have food that'll let me have temporary hearts, and I will be using them. But it's, it's done sparingly so. Like, I haven't used a single one yet, so let's just look at it from that point of view. Oh, this sucks. I think I picked the bad spot. Is this? Yeah, it's too vertical. I can't. It's okay. I will be fighting Lionels. As well. So keep that in mind. It's not like, you know, that was the only Lionel I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight more of them. I mean, consider this, it's, it's three days and we're almost at a hundred. Now, they have slowed down. Today, there's only been one. There's only been one death today. So far. How am I going to get back up there? I think I have to go around. I think I've, I've landed in a very bad spot here.
I haven't gone to the divine base either. No, I haven't. But the first time I did this, because this, you know, I have achieved this goal that I'm talking about before. There's only one divine base that caused me issues. And then the other fight that caused me a lot of problems was uh, the, the thing you have to do to get the motorcycle. That was... Whew, that was the process. And then Trial of the Sword, you know. But that's understood that that one is very hard. Kinda hard to say. And it's one of those things where can you really contextualize like a hundred deaths versus say something like a thousand? Like how long does a thousand deaths really take? There's also the factor that, you know, the majority of these 70 deaths happened to that Lionel, and it was just me getting acclimated to how to fight again. But there's a possibility that I could get better at fighting. That, that just stops happening. I mean, take what happened in Skyward Sword, for example. One stream struggling to get anything, and then the next stream I was, you know, beating five bosses without taking damage. Back to back. Veneer. Think 550. I might write these down. <laughs> okay. Let me get let me get a, a notepad file out. I'll write these down. Predictions. Okay. But still want 420 confirming? Alright. Color in 550. Okay. Let's save this. Save it to desktop. Alright. Done. Alright. You have till the end of the stream to change your mind, but for now, consider it locked. Okay. So I just have to do the same thing in reverse, right? So it's like... Assuming top to bottom. Okay. 
No? Okay, other way around. Flip it. Oh, wait. No, but see, that's reading right to left, so it has to be this. It is from left to right, top to bottom. Oh. Shit. Okay, I'm looking at the screenshot then. <laughs> Three, let's just say, three, one, three, one, four, two, five. Three, one, four, two, five. I'm look, I'm interpreting it my own way. Um, four, that one's correct. Two, one, five. What? Oh, wait. Wait, why is this wrong? Oh, from the top. I'm an idiot. I'll get there. Now, at this point, it's practically a, a brute force. What? Let me look at this. It should be correct. Wrong screenshot. Did I just... No, because isn't this... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. I just I just reset the puzzle. <laughs> no, because like if you're using Windows, right? I, or when I use Windows and I short I sort mine left to right, so the oldest is on the left and the newest is on the right. So like it goes oldest newest, but here it's the it's the other way around. So this is just a force of habit. Particularly when I'm uploading VODs, you know, the oldest is on the left, and then, yeah, this is this is my bad. Don't worry. I'm the idiot. Wait, what? Okay. Two, two, three, five, gap, four, one. Two, three, five, gap, four, one. So let's just Did 
There's the gap. Um, four one. At least confirm he pays attention. No, confirm he's saved my ass a couple of times. What? That's not two. The first one's wrong. That's three. Yeah. I was going to have a conniption if that didn't work. Three hours later. <laughs> Resource resourcefulness is a very loose term here. Okay. <laughs> now I gotta go back to the other one. Wait, what is that? Hold on. Before I commit to that, what is that? Awfully suspicious. What does this look like a goal? It's because it is. Yeah. At least it's downhill. Yeah, but I can still miss. Okay. I'm gonna save it. Okay. Alright, we're cool. Perfect. Straight down the middle. What's this one? I've already forgotten it. <laughs> 
Oh, right. Yep. Four. Wait, this is five. Four. Two. And lastly. Hooray. That should have been like that for the first one. <laughs> yes, I got I got a pat on the head for that one. One. Okay. So, chat, we're going to take a small two to five minute intermission. It's been over four hours, a little bit longer than the typical VOD is on YouTube, so... I'm gonna take a moment to just stretch my legs. I need to refill my water bottle, but we will continue. If you're watching later on YouTube, this is where we say, bye YouTube. As... as is tradition, so... Thanks for watching, if you're checking out the VOD later. <laughs>